and again, two casts later, should have set my drag. That's a better one as well. Oh, one bow waving for it already. One bow waving for it. Come on. Yep. No way, straight in. There we go. There we go. Just like Alright, what is going on guys? So we're out. Very, very foggy morning. Nice lake though. It's probably my favourite lake. And yeah, we're gonna be fishing. You've seen the title. We're fishing with this beast. Half collars, ninja glide, uh, ninja jerk, ninja something. Uh, wake bait, basically. Pretty crazy bait. Um, and yeah, I've st I actually started the session with the uh, classic Kofi perch. Um, so we've got our first couple of fish on that, but yeah, we are switching to this now. So yeah, the first bit of the video, fishing with the Kofi perch, just start checking if they're feeding. And now, as you can see, I've already caught a few fish. Now we're gonna be fishing with this beast. What a crazy bait, super noisy. Propeller, very shallow diving lip, so it is a wake bait. And uh, yeah, this should be fun. Um, I've never surfished with, fished on this place, but I have had them come up to the surface and hit shads and stuff when they've been fished like mega, mega shallow. So I'm pretty confident they will hit a surface lure. Uh, it's got three trebles on, so I'm gonna take that middle one off. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get to it. I'm uh, very excited to see how this works. That is a pretty cool looking bait. Like I said, I'm going to take that middle hook off. I need to get the hook protectors off. Yeah, these are nice sharp hooks as well. So yeah, we should we should hook the fish. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to work the reed lines with this. I'm pretty confident I can find fish in the reed lines. And to be honest, I think it would present better there. So yeah, we're going to head to a reed bed. I can't see where they are because, as you can see, it's insanely foggy. Um, <laughs> and, uh, give this bad boy a go quickly see the action actually before I start. Ooh, that could be money on here today. So yeah, a few fish for the Kofi and then we switch into this now. So hope you guys enjoy. Okay, let's see if they're in the bays today in the craziest fog on a fish day. Let me see where the reed line is. Oh shit, straight on it. Straight on it in the fog. That was unexpected. <laughs> oh, it's gone. Right, I was worried they weren't going to be biting in this fog. Um, and this is a bit I don't normally catch in as well. So, yeah, to, to go and smash it straight away like that in the fog. I didn't even get a hook there or anything, but that is cool. That's really cool. <laughs> straight on then. Really not even started fishing yet, so. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll take him that one. Oh, he's missed another one. He's had some shy bites today. I oh, took it again now. He took it again. Oh, he's gone. Tiny fish. Whew. There's three missed already. Three missed already. Like I say, I'm not even in the areas where I normally catch fish. It's nice that it came out for it, but... Oh, oof, that was a really good bite then. Tangled my tail. That was really, really... I took it again with a tangled tail. Stay on. Really bad hook set, but stay on. <laughs> that literally had a tangled tail when that took it. <sighs> okay, first one actually landed this morning. Kofi perch. Missed it with my poor hook set skills and uh, yeah, came back. A little beauty. See you, baby. Get us away from the reeds a bit more. Might be on for a good day today. <laughs> so, uh, oh, that's the fourth fish I've had contact with anyway. Really, really strong hit to start off with. Oh, 
and again, two cups later, should have set my drag. That's a better one as well. That's a better one. Oh, that's a better one. Okay. Was not expecting that right here. Come on. Oh. Two casts later. Chunky double, let's go. Yes. I was just stood. I'm well after that. It's not like it, it's very active, by the way. <laughs> it's not a giant fish, but it's a, uh, yeah, 12 pound. Jesus. Like I say, very active. Um, got my hand right in a rakers. Um, yeah, 12 pounds, something like that. Solid uh, start of the day, though. Yeah, well after that. Ninety, ninety-two. So yeah, decent fish. All right, let's get this fish back. Ninety-two centimeters. Chunky. Chick. Got nice clear water. So good. So good. Okay, I'm not even fishing the way I was planning on fishing in this video already, so <laughs> you know, things aren't going to plan, but we're catching fish on the Kofi Perch 14 again, so I'm, I can't take it off now, can I? So we'll leave it on for a bit, see if we can get some more down here. I'll right, show you the action with this glide bait. It's quite tight, but it's a very noisy bait, so yeah, I think this is going to work on here. Just need to find where the edge is. <laughs> Have a clue, well foggy. It's not like a proper surface layer as well, actually, it does go down a little bit, which is nice. So, this is hard car, dual hard car, but it's made by Yozuri, so it's like one of their sister companies or something like that. But yeah, it's a Yozuri made lure, basically. <laughs> Does that make sense? So, we'll see, we'll see what happens pretty confident I should at least catch a fish on this. It floats up pretty fast. Um, fish are aggressive, which is what they tend to like in this place. So yeah, we're gonna try quickly now, get to a reed bed. Probably troll it for a bit as well. And uh, yeah, get a first fish on it. I'm excited. It's been a while since I've used anything like this, so it should be good fun. Quite a cold morning and obviously insane fog, but yeah, I think we'll get some bites. Just about at the reed line that I'm wanting to fish now, so we'll get this trial bait in. Such a such a noisy lure. This is definitely going to attract some attention. I think it's a pretty good idea to use this before the sun comes out as well. I don't know if it'll hit surface when it's bright sunshine. So yeah, while well, it's foggy, might be a good bait to use because it's sort of like gets disorientated to where the actual top of the water is um, when it's foggy pike for whatever reason, so we'll see how this goes. Oh, one bow waving for it already. One bow waving for it, come on. Yep, no way, straight in. Straight into a fish, that was awesome. Oh, I hope you got that bow wave on camera then. That came from so shallow, that fish for it. <laughs> oh, fish bow wave from so far away to get his bait then. <laughs> Sorry, dude. It's not actually tinier than I normally get on this place as well. Yes. Oh man, what an aggressive little fish. So, <laughs> yeah, how long did that take? Three casts, two casts. It's not a monster, obviously, but on the uh, hardcore little wake bait, that was so cool to watch. That <sighs> well, I've never surfaced plus fish this place before. <sighs> nice and lightly hooked. So yeah, that works. Get this back ASAP. Yeah, they are definitely pre spawn, uh, post spawn. So see you, buddy. That bow wave that that fish just gave off then. Honestly, it came from like 10 foot away from at least. And just, I knew it was going to take it as well. You could just tell by 
how fast it was going for it was so good to watch yes okay that's the first one on the uh hardcore wake bait i actually don't i forgot the name of it to be totally honest with you so we'll just call it hardcore wake bait but <laughs> yeah that was cool as hell I really hope that bow wave was on. I got it on my GoPro because, yeah, that fish came from so far away for it then. Such shallow water as well that we're in. It's literally a foot and a half deep. Oh, that was so good. That was so good. Oh, I hope the camera got that one then. Shot out of nowhere for it. Right, right, right. Tight up under that tree. See if I come back. <laughs> oh man, it's got a drag tight. Always forget when I'm using a fixed pull to tighten my drag back up. Ooh, that one came out of nowhere. That was so good to watch. So shallow as well. Troll, no way. On the troll. That feels alright as well actually. Obviously it didn't get that hit on camera, but oh that's not too bad. <laughs> that was it. Um because the boat was moving, but yeah, it's fine. Number two. Number two, rather quite deep water here as well. over a bit of a deeper area and that one just uh, nailed it trolling so uh, yeah definitely works get that hook out number two on the wake bay see bud fish number two on this fish four for the day don't even know where I am on the lake at all looking for there's like an underwater like really shallow area like an, an underwater island sort of thing uh, which is what i'm looking for so I usually get a few fish stacked around that but i cannot so oh, it's actually just getting really shallow right next to me so it's probably right where we are yeah okay we'll start fishing around here yeah they usually stack on the edges of this um, so we'll see if they're up today, basically. Whoa! That one whacked it then. <laughs> I hit it so hard. Oh man, I really hope that was on the GoPro. I don't think it was though. What a slam! Oof, number three. Right, over, we're over a bar. A metre and a half of water, crystal clear, and poof, straight up to the surface right then. Oh, such a good hit. Put on that back treble again. Come in, buddy. Oof, number three on this bait then. Oh, number three on the bait, number five for today. It's all been quite easy to unlock as well, these on this, which is nice. Sca scratched up again, this one. Oh, yeah, that look. They have spawned wounds like this. So, slip back. They have spawned. Right, another one on the troll anyway. I really do um, want to be catching them casting to be fair, but I will take them. Especially as it's super hard to know exactly where I am on the lake. I think we're getting off to a decent area now anyway. Such a good hit. Such a good hit. Crazy that they're coming up and smashing this on the troll. Yeah, we're in a pretty good area right here. Pretty good area. Oh, 
there's zero wind, which makes it very difficult as well though, but yeah, if you want to slam it like that, I'll be happy. Three on it already though, so obviously we know this bait works and it works well, they've all hammered into it. Just got hit. I think that was a perch then. Oh no, it's Pies just took it again. <laughs> that was a pretty shy hit then, but it was a hit. It might come back that one as well. Really, really small fish. Whew, another little hit then. Let's see if it's still there. Under a tree again. Quite a few hits under trees. Let's see if he'll come back for it doubt it now he's felt the hooks like then, then, then again he came up for it really shy though hello uh, no came back for it though that was cool see if we could back again oh yeah like i say he just mouthed it then but it came back for it at least that way yeah oh, you bugger shy bite again man Bowered right up on it again. Hopefully you saw that on camera. And just nibbled it. There's another pike there. Might come back. Real nibble that. Okay, we're getting to an area. Last time I fished here, there was quite a lot of very active fish stacked. So I'm hoping they are going to be chilling again today. Yeah, first cast, straight on it. Very slow again. Look, you see him chilling there, cruising. Damn it! Very, very, very slow hit again. First cast. Oh, he's there still. I oh, just spooked. Look at him. Look at him. I'm not that. Just chilling there, man. That looks so good in the water, though. Oh, again, turn on it. He wants it. No, wind knots. Wind knots out my ass. Come on, baby. He's well keen on it, then. Just turned last minute. That proper shows how switched, the, switched off these guys are though. Well, not keen on it. I mean, keen on it, but yeah, they know. They can see the line, they can see the hooks. They know it ain't the fish. Oh, another follower. Come on, bro. Another one following in this clear water. I mean, it looks so good, but... It's annoying, and you know the fish are here, but you just can't get them to bite. Oh, I missed another. I actually bit it, that one. Just very, 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 very gently. Behind it still, though. Can you see him? Decent fish. 70, 70, 75, -er. just gentle bite again. I mean, I, I can mark where they are for later on, but it's annoying right now. It's annoying that, you know, they're here, but there's not a breath of wind, which is making everything so, so difficult. Fog's starting to go finally, but it's, yeah, we need that wind, we need the wind to get them to bite. It was alright this morning when it was like low light conditions and everything, but now it's now the sun's properly up. It's very hard work. Big follow then. That was a nice fish that followed it. Again, follow though. No, didn't even go near it to bite it. Just followed it. Right, at least I know these fish are right here though and, and they'll be up for it later on. 
which is always good to know. As of right now though, they are, yeah, just following. This is good sized followers. I'm talking mid 70s to 80 centimeters. Which is really nice to see, to be fair. Last time I fished this place, they were all like 50, 60s that were showing, and now it's the better fish that are showing, so yeah, it's good. There's one, no, there's one. Oh, God damn, that was such a gentle bite again, and that was, a, that was just a little fish. Damn, I finally got one to bite it though, but oh, so gently, must have just nipped that hook. Right, so yeah, top water bite ain't gonna be on right for much longer. The rod's being really odd as well. He's getting wrapped around the tip rings for some reason. Yeah, so the top water bite, we'll probably do a little bit more casting, but I think it seems we've caught fish on this, you know, I know it works. Probably stick it on a little bit later on, but I think I'm just gonna stick a normal lure on for a bit. See if we can get a few of these shy fish to actually get pinned, but yeah, it's not gonna be easy even with a you know, a very realistic bait. So, yeah, we'll see though. I think I'll probably stick a metal rail, a little metal rail shad on or something like that. A little Kofi poach. The metal rail in this weather usually is pretty damn good. Well, yeah, three fish on this anyway. And um, I think we'll get some more a bit later. Just need that breeze. But we are not in any top water conditions right now. Kind of is a waste of time just slamming about with it. Just something a bit more realistic. Good old Kofi. Back over on this last fish as well. Right guys, to the top water for a bit. I'm gonna throw a little uh, little shad around to see if we can get any anything to bite. Well yeah, we've had five fish already in this video, so it's not too bad. Um, for the fish, let me see what time it is. 10 already. So that's gone, yeah, three hours, five fish is really quite slow on this lake to be fair. So yeah, probably fish till about midday. Uh, I'll try to put that um, <laughs> top water thing back on, whatever it's called, at some point. But yeah, we'll just throw shads around while the weather is absolutely beautiful, but terrible for pipe fishing. So <laughs> yeah, the way it goes though, you can't uh, have perfect weather every time you go out. There we go, there we go. Just switched to a shab. Ooh, that was a slow bite though, but he has took that quite nice actually. Ooh, both side hit. Oh, again, it's not a bad fish. Oh yeah, buddy. Nailed it. Come on, man. Put some weed on you, bud. Chunky one, number six though. Oh, finally, got one to fully commit. Like I say, it's not a monster. But it's nice to get one landed on the 14 centimetre motor oil, Kofi Perch. Motor oil is always a good colour when it's bright sun. This guy really wants to flip. Chilling out. So, uh, yeah, I'm not this guy, getting back. Hopefully, get some more to commit now. But that's, um, yeah, like I said, I knew I could get another fish if I switched it up. But I really want to catch some more on that dodgy top water thing. But, and pop the hook out. Here we go. On the motor royal. Nice little jack. Well, better than what I was catching last time I was there, so. Okay, mate. <laughs> Not the best release. <sighs> Get fishing again. Good old motor royal. Like, really, that was a slow hit, but it was so good that it actually came and hit the bait rather than just following and following and following. And that's the thing you've got to figure out as well when you're out, you know, you've got to, you know, know why they're not feeding, essentially, you know, there's, there's always a reason and you've got to figure out what you need to do to get them to feed, basically. So, you know, I know this place and I know they're not feeding because there's no wind. They yeah, never, never feed well on here when there's no wind. But, you know, you've got to figure little things, you know, I'm fishing something that's 
too unnatural or do, you know they're not really doing a reaction strike today so we phase that out you know when it's windy they'll be back on the reaction strikes but now let's try and put present something that looks like a tasty dinner so nice little roach or perch imitation um a bit of flash on it like this motor oil but it's also like quite subtle so it looks like super realistic to them as well if you get what i mean so yeah it works and you've got to think as well with that sun we've got clear water uh, uh, no wind and sun so the yeah, looking fish are always looking up at your bait they're not going to be able to see it perfectly yeah so something's got a bit of flash or a bit of solid color like uh like no i was pretty solid color as well to be fair um yeah can really get a bite going i mean gotta get a bite some different color yeah sure but i feel motor oil is the best bet right now and especially better than the uh dodgy top water thing that i've been throwing for the last few hours see if we can get another one to come in i'll definitely be going back over those ones that i missed earlier um, so some of those were chunky chunky little pike yeah that was a nice little fish that i had that number six which is very very slow compared to last time I was here oh one just swirled on it come on come on yeah oh missed him very gentle hit again that's why you gotta keep looking i took it again oh so i'm turned then he's not i don't think he'll be behind it again you gotta keep looking at what you're doing all the time right i do like to look around the lake to see you know what's going on around me and everything but keep an eye on your bait you know i saw a swirl behind it so you know there's you know the fish has his eyes on it so you've got to create an action that is going to get a reaction so what i tend what i tend to do is if i see that i'll give it a speed and a pause or some twitches like this make the pike think that that bait is going to get away and they just automatically pounce on it even when the conditions are poor most of the time anyway, in theory <laughs> Sometimes uh, it doesn't work out like that. I mean, that one hit it twice, which was really encouraging because, like I say, when I was using that top water thing, I was properly struggling to get bites, but that was cool. Got a little, little bite again. Missed him twice, like an idiot. Oh, look, we've got some breeze. Oh, right. Okay, I'm going to move out of this bay then because the bay's not in the breeze, but you see this little bit of ripple right here, that can make such a big difference so i'm gonna push us out um we'll be able to drift a bit with that as well which is nice and yeah it should in theory get them biting we'll see though let's we'll see i'm excited now a little bit of ripple turns it on something uh, a bit as well now oh probably switch colors no oil really need to start having a tidy about this is a right nightmare oh there's a fish though yes maybe i won't switch colors then and look how well that one hit it compared to the rest of them like just a bit of wind that bit of wind and poof, nailed oh, another pretty nice one as well compared to like i say compared to last week's antics but, uh, leader touch for number seven Okay. Chunky little jack. Beauty. See you, bed. I hate it when they do this. Whew, right, finally. Got untangled after that mess that that pipe made. But yeah, the, the way that hit compared to how those have been hitting today was such a big difference just because we've got that breeze picked up now. Like, bang, straight on it. No messing about then no following no shy hits just a big thump Ooh. yeah if this breeze stays exactly like this for the rest of the day i'll be well happy especially since i've not got my drogue Ooh, that's, oh it's gone it's quite a slow bite that to be fair there's another bite though at least in open water See if I'll come back for it. Nice tangle my tail. 
<laughs> that was a fish though, really weird, really, look how he's done to that tail. Really um, weird bite though. Goes back to that same spot, see if he'll take it again. There's one out of the reed line. That's probably one that I had following before as well. <laughs> nice little fight. Doesn't look too big. Uh, not seeing it though. Hey, it's a decent one. I'd say the stamp today is way better than last time. Like they're not monsters or anything, but they are juices. Juicy Jacks. <laughs> Number eight. Nice fish. Ty's been caught recently. He's got a top of the mouth unhooking mark. See you, buddy. Oof, right out of the reed. Slow hit again, but yeah. Put up a good fight once he was hooked. Yeah, like I said, that was probably one that followed it before. Nice looking fish. Number eight. Let's double check to see how long we've got left in this video. Oh, we've got, got a bit of time left. Might get to ten fish in this video. Oof. That was so aggressive then. Took it again, missed it. I think he took the tail then. So... So aggressive that. Really pulled the rod round then. It yeah, took my tail that bugger. Man, that was aggressive as hell. Whew, okay, maybe they're getting fired up now. Quick lure change. The problem on this place as well when they're like this, they are uh, you take tails quite a bit. Oof, got that seafood scent going. I really pulled the rod tip round when that one hit then it's Cool, really cool. There we go. Oh, it's a tiny one. That was cool though. That was, oh, he's nailed it. Why are the little ones so... Whoa, no fight. Why do the little ones nail it so bad? Oof, really cool hit though. Need a touch. Oh, we're gonna need pliers for you, mate. Which I should have had ready. There we go. Not even hooked. Um, couldn't get it out of him. That's beautiful cause on him. Oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> Went back fine though. Man, smack it then. The little guys really do hit so aggressively. Get a 20 pounder in like that, rod would be out of the end. Oh, that's another one. Is that still on? Oh, ran at me then, I couldn't keep up with it. Whew, I don't even know how big that was or anything. It just hooked it, it just ran straight towards me with the bait in its mouth, so I couldn't really get a solid hook set on it. But whew, I have to get another hit, man. Like two casts after that last one. That's <laughs> so bizarre. These open, there's ones that are more in open water, are way more aggressive. That's another. Oh, I wonder if that's the one that followed it relentlessly before. Ah, it's come off. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was such, oh, he's behind it still. Took it. Get back. What the hell? The tail was tangled. It just took it again. He had the entire bait in his mouth. Just freaking hook was gnarled up in the tail. That was cool to see though. It just absorbed the entire thing straight in front of me then. I can't believe the way that just came off though. Like literally was hooked and then he just like, yeah, spat it out, gone. That lot will come back for a third attempt. Bring 
comes out a little bit. Yeah, as soon as that wind came though, they just flick of a switch and they are on it now. What did I just say? <laughs> oh, compared to how hard it's been getting them to commit to biting earlier. Flick that switch, a little bit of wind and necked it. I don't even know if this is good or not. This feels weird. It's kiting like a good fish, but I can't see it being a good one. Hey, it's chunky. It's not a bad fish. That's a good one. That's put second biggest today. Number 10. Come here, bud. Should just handball it, really, but... <laughs> Oh wow, it's stretching so much for that. Number 10. So yeah, it's probably a 75er. Both just spun back around so the sun's in the wrong place, but yeah, I'll take that one. <laughs> Second best today. Really nice clean looking pike. Alright guys, oh, the sun is horrible man, um, right, I'll try and find an angle, um, yeah, that's going to do it for this video, 10 pike, we only had 3 on the dodgy top water thing, but um, yeah, it wasn't very windy, which made things difficult, and now it's too sunny for top water, so yeah, it didn't work out that well, but we had a good little session, we caught some fish on it, we had that kicker fish to start with, just ended with a pretty nice one, didn't measure it, it's probably an 80 though, so yeah, I cannot complain with that first session. Let me check the time. 10 minutes past 11, so we have been fishing. Eight, nine, ten, four hours. Um, so yeah, been fishing four hours. It's kind of slow on this lake, but to be honest, we've still got six hours to fish. So yeah, I'll probably get some more. So yeah, like usual, links in the description to everything that I've used. Hope you guys enjoyed. I've certainly enjoyed fishing this clear water. It's a lovely day as well. Jacket's gonna come off in a minute. Oh, so much fun fishing. Hope you guys enjoy fishing as much as I do because yeah, such a great way to pass your time. I'm going to stop talking nonsense now, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.